What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for the good, the bad, and everything else you could think of inside the world of Apple. Now, there's plenty of stories to talk about, plus the winners of our Jell Skins giveaway, so let's get to it. And no one still really knows what Apple will do to respond to the Galaxy S4, one of the most feature packed phones ever when it hits the market in April or May. But a new patent awarded to the Cupertino kids describes an augmented reality system for connected devices that can overlay info about the multiple objects it's pointed at. There are plenty of apps that already do some of this, and before you start yelling, Apple can't patent that. It's specific to being interactive, and you will also be able to create your own annotations by writing or drawing them on your device. Remember Apple's last killer feature was Siri, and if this is the killer feature for the next iPhone, I'll be changing the name of this show to the Samsung Bite. What? All right, guys, in iPad Mini News, CNET's own checks with Display Search and the Supply Channel point to the iPad Mini 2 with Retina Display launching in the third or fourth quarter of 2013. The Display Search analyst says they're expecting a display resolution of 2048 by 1536. That's four times the pixels and double the resolution. But we shouldn't expect it in the first half of this year, which is fine. For those of you who were able to control yourselves from buying the first one, unlike my brother, so he could let his son Jake use the regular iPad. Oh, oh, but look how cute he is! Oh, so precious. Now there's still chatter about Apple having two different phones this year, and KGI Securities analysts continue to press that the low-cost phone will still have a 4-inch screen with a super thin plastic casing mixed with fiberglass for more nutrition and making it stronger and thinner compared to other smartphone plastic casings. Plus, it's still rumored to be coming in four to six different colors. Martin Hajek even created these sweet renders of what a colored iPhone might look like for iPhoneClub.nl in red and aqua blue, and they look pretty sweet. And you know everyone likes colors, and this is pretty much a slam dunk. The love. Let's go! Oh my goodness, that was so nasty. He was like, Ugh. he was like, ah! I was like, Ugh. All right, I'm, I got a little carried away with that one. Now, Apple has added a new member to its team, and it's former Adobe Chief Technology Officer Kevin Lynch. You might not remember him, but Lynch was the face for Adobe that insisted and continued to defend Flash for years against Apple's desire to prevent it from running on its mobile devices. Now, he'll be working under Bob Mansfield, so he'll probably just blend into the background, but you might be asking the question, would SJ even hire someone that was so outspoken against Apple? Well, maybe you should ask him yourself. Thanks to this pretty ridiculous lifelike action toy of Steve Jobs from the team at Legend Toys. Now it has multiple points of articulation and they even got it down to the details of his stare, mock turtleneck, detailed blue jeans and the laces. Look at the laces on his New Balance shoes. Now you can also swap out his hands so you can recreate that SJ's point or make him do something really cool like hold my handy snacks before I dip them in cheese. The action figure retails for $200 and comes with the replica chair he used at his iPad presentation. But really, he could just be that friend who's always by your side. All right, to the quick bites. Another Apple patent that's been submitted reveals the evolution of the iPad smart cover that would include built-in inductive charging to allow the iPad to continue to be charged on the go by the smart cover. Now, the smart cover itself would need to be charged from an external power supply, but the patent also shows that it could be charged by resting near something like an iMac to wirelessly charge the cover on its own. Now, this doesn't mean it's happening, but this stuff is real interesting. Also, in some quick software updates, the latest Apple TV software has been updated to 5.2.1, including security and bug fixes, but also completely redesigns the Hulu app with better navigation and discovery. Also, iOS gets an update to 6.1.3, which fixes the passcode bypassing bug on phones and makes improvements to maps in Japan. All right, let's get to our Jealous Skins winners. We asked you, the Apple Biters, one thing you would change, and a lot of you said nothing at all, which is the right answer. But, you know, I like to have fun. So our winners from Twitter, Caleb Mao, he said, you need a co-host. But Caleb, I don't remember taking that picture. Now, Gaule says, if I could change the apple bite, Brian would have dreads and an iced out grill. But 
I don't drink scissor. All right, guys, on email, Mansur Rayed writes, I would love to see Nosha Tong is featured every episode. I miss him already. Next question. Now, there's a lot of you, and I mean a lot, that asks like J Cabrera7792 did, I would have Brian do the show shirtless. See, Stay there's a reason why I write the show and you guys don't. And Alex, I wrote, more Jamie, less Brian. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate the feedback. <laughs> All right. Congrats to our winners for the $50 Jello Skins gift card. And a lot of you also asked me to change up my hair, so I'm leaning towards this style. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Send us your emails to theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. I'm Jamie Yee. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you and you and you for another bite of the apple. This is such an easy job.